Hey guys, this is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. Uh, it's Monday, and uh, I thought Maddie was going to have the video today, but I was wrong. She's going to have it tomorrow. She's getting to her destination pretty late tonight, so it's going to be kind of late for her to post it. So I'm going to do today's, and hopefully tomorrow she'll have the video with some awesome footage. Alright, so today... Yes, I've been crying my eyes out. Uh, when I came home from work today, I watched the Lost pregame from last night, where they pretty much review the past six seasons in preparation for the finale. And I have to say, it was spectacular. Just the pregame was spectacular. Getting back up to speed, you know, picking up the little clues along the way from the entire uh, history of the show has been amazing. Uh, the characters, I mean, this is like a mini-series for all time. And, it, and well, it's not a mini-series, it's a series for all time. Well-written, well-developed characters, um, and not all the characters were likable either, you know? Some of them you just love to hate, and some of them you just love to love. The storylines uh, made you think. I mean, it wasn't just mindless television. It was, you know, I craved Lost every week. And I hated when they were like, oh, it's going to be six months until you get a new episode or nine months or whatever. Lost is the ultimate. I'm just going to say that right now. Lost has ultimate power. So I have a little Lost tag prepared for you guys today. It's five questions. If you want to answer it in the comments or do a video description or pass it along, have somebody else do it uh, as well. All right, so I'm going to start off with my favorite character on Lost. That's tough because there's a lot of uh, characters on Lost. Some are, you know, main characters that are there throughout the entire uh, six seasons, and some just show up for one season or two. Well, I'm going to have to say... My number one pick is probably going to be Richard, the man who doesn't age, with a close second of Desmond. All right, Richard, uh, his character, you just got to feel sorry for the guy. I mean, he he's wonderful, and <laughs> how could you not love a guy with guy liner, permanent guy liner? It's not uh, unnatural. That's all Richard. So, yeah. Uh, least favorite character. I'm gonna have to say it's Locke. Um, I never liked Locke from the first season where uh, he wasn't really saying too much. I just got a bad vibe off of him and I didn't really like him, but I didn't hate him. I didn't hate him until he became the smoke monster. Then I really, really did not like him at all. I hated everything that he did and in fact when Desmond hit him with his car, a couple of episodes ago, I laughed out loud, and Maddie was like, wow, you are so insensitive, and I'm like, I hate the guy. I'm sorry. I just hate him. All right, uh, best moment, worst moment. I put those two together because my best moment and my worst moment are the same moment. Uh, I'm going to have to say that that moment would be the death of Jin and Sun. Uh... Everybody well, who watches Lost knows the saga between Jin and Sun. They were a troubled married couple in the beginning, and then they finally patched up their differences, and they re-fell in love again on the island, and then they got separated for almost two whole seasons, and were finally reunited, only to be killed. Yes, Sean, I know. Can you believe it? And, uh... I'm just, I was so happy when they were, um, <laughs> I was so happy when they were reunited. And then when they died, I was just so happy for them because now I know that they will be together forever. So it definitely was the worst moment. I cried when uh, the two of them died, but I knew that they were going to be together. So it was actually the best moment as well. So, yeah. Favorite season out of the six seasons, I'm going to have to say, is season six. I mean, some people would be like, oh, season one, because you're just getting to know the characters, and they're starting to develop, and you know. No, it was season six, because after agonizing over five seasons of Lost, and just beginning to get answers at the end of season five, 
season six, every single episode was a winner because it just gave you one more piece to that puzzle, which I, you know, you want to finish the puzzle, but then you don't want to be finished with the puzzle. And now I'm at the point where I've got only one or two more pieces of the puzzle because I haven't seen any of the final two and a half hours yet. So I'm going to be savoring every minute of the last two and a half hours. And uh, I don't want to put that last or that lost piece in the puzzle because that's going to mean it's over. But then um, I'm planning this summer perhaps on watching from season one all the way through again. You know, like when you read a book again for the second time, it's new again, and you pick up things in there that you hadn't seen before. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something uh, that's never over. It's like you can see a movie over and over again, and uh, it's still just as enjoyable as the first time that you saw it. So let me know what you guys think, and... Uh, I'll have some recaps tonight, and Maddie will have the daily video tomorrow. So until then, much love.